And there we find another Shigoth. A baby Shigoth, in fact, because I'm calling him babies because... Tackle attack! But, uh, yeah, these guys are a little annoying and taking out their eventual brethren. Um, you're, you're, uh, you're gonna find him eventually. I'm standing on you, you jerk. Oh, you disappeared. Okay, these guys. Scan these guys. You got it. You have to. If you don't scan them, then, uh, then fear the wrath of uh, some Metroid just sucking on your whole torso because these guys, you can only find them once as well. Bunch of ice enemies here uh, like to only appear once for some reason. Don't know why. Because the game likes to not show, doesn't like to sh re show any enemies again. Because for some unknown reason that the producers decide not to do that. But whatever. Um, I'm okay with that. As long as you guys watch this guide, you'll know that you can never see those enemies again. So it's wise to watch, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Um, just care of you and give me my missile upgrades because I love missiles and Metal Gear but all right so yes here's a small puzzle well not that but right behind me right here hmm all right so we're gonna scan that can't do anything with that at the moment but we will do something with that sooner or later Sh the Chozo Shaman 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 but here we go and this is the Shaman right here it's a brimstone wall. This is obviously not the shaman, so you have to bomb or blow up this wall. Uh, but I don't know how bombing would that. I don't know how bombing would work right there, but sure, why not? Let me just scan you. Thank you. More false thoughts. So, you know the drill. Get your bombs and blow that up, because we love destruction and mayhem. It's Metroid Prime, Ar Armageddon, extreme. So, yes, indeed, you do. And here is also something really not really worthwhile mentioning, but um, you can go through here. So just blow this up. There you go. And for some reason, there's a little blocks there from from Magmore Caverns. I don't know why, but I'm okay with that. So let's get a move on there. Get a move on, little donkey. And there you go. Blow this one up. Blow this one up. And uh, whoops. You got. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh. Uh-huh. So that's... That was interesting, wasn't it? So... Let's go on. What the? You're not supposed to get stuck right there, are you? No, you're not. But there is a new weapon. Something that I love. Called the Wave Beam. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Hurry up! Aw, you can't make it. There's an, invis there's an invisible wall right here for some reason. Aw... Dagnabbit. And oh yes, by the way, um, this is an ambush. <laughs> just frankly, this is just an ambush. Uh, they're just here to... I don't know how enemies can actually just get so smart on you. And don't shoot ice at me, please. Use your regular Shigots. You, they should be a no problem. They should be no problem if you know how to strafe jump. So, yeah. Should be okay. And the more you kill, the more appear. So, not necessarily a good thing for you because... Yeah. Oh boy, so behind. Alright. Just take his final guy out. Some of the last guy for some reason, but come on. Yeah. I like this I, like, I personally like to keep my distance away from these guys because uh, they they like to tackle you and they like to run tackle you too. And sometimes they go rampant on you. And uh, you have to be careful with these guys because I mean I personally like it when they actually shoot their little ice balls at you. Because it allows you to go right behind them and attack them. But right, I'm gonna do this little glitch right here. Stand right here and look. Now this she got. This is a mother she got, or just she got. This thing is dumb as rocks. It attacked where I used to be because I, now I teleported all the way back here. So this thing is enormous. All right, so she got superior predator of the Fantana drifts. They appear more commonly later on until you gain more weapons. Oh God. And uh, the problem with these guys, uh, you shoot whatever you want at them, it gets don't tackle, it gets absorbed. So that's a problem right there. Um, that is not good. The only thing that you can probably shoot at them, shoot at this monster is a uh, is a missile. Missiles do not get absorbed. Only energy-based weapons. So we need to, we need to use a concussive blast on tackle, me, please. And um, 
and you have to shoot it at its mouth. So when it opens up its mouth, and you um, there you go. There's there's a there's a uh, there's a pattern you can get this thing into. You just keep on shooting it in front. We'll use ice breath once more. Just do this again. If you do run out of missiles as well, even better because that means you can do bombs. Just change up your strategy, and that's about it. Breath is nasty. Have you guys heard of? Have you heard of? Have you heard of something called toothbrush or whatever? What the hell? Oh man. I am also using missile canceling, so because I'm kind of like a cheap bastard like that. And there you go, Mother Shigoth down. All right, I'm really happy. Mother Shigoth's dead. We're all happy, and we just made a bunch of orphans. So, how do you feel today? And these are ultra energy. So, all right. It's pretty easy. It's just a stupid little pattern you can do in the game. So, don't worry. This game isn't too difficult on hard mode, but just wait until the later parts. Oh God, you're gonna be begging for your life and just begging for like, oh please, game, don't rape me or something. But all right, so here's our reward, and it's one to get some missiles, and this is a nice reward too for all of us, for America, and for the great, uh, greatest, uh, greater justice and uh, the Galactic Federation or something. Nice upgrade. Nice. All right, so uh, different beams. Quite easy to use, in fact. Just use your C stick and toggle to whatever to whatever direction it's at. So we now have the wave beam. Unlike the other games, like the two D side scrolling games, the wave beam cannot go through walls. That is one thing that I noticed that oh, other people noticed when they were playing Metroid, this Metroid Prime. And the uh, wave beam is a beam combo. I mean, it's a beam type that can paralyze monsters. So it's very useful. And it's also the beam type that can take out these guys. So you're not completely down and out because although they can't go through any walls anymore, we can actually destroy these new monsters. So yeah, we can blow up more stuff. All right. Just then right your cup. Whoa. Hello. All right. I think that was a pretty good update uh, so far. Hmm. Very, very majestic here. And, alright, more Pulse Bamboos. Bamboo, bom I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that, really. And, uh, these guys just go ballistic if you charge it up. Whoa! I like how they just get to static when you get near them, too. It's pretty awesome. And, alright, so... Any, uh, any life uh, learnings uh, here, kids? Or whatever? Oh, yes, let me just show out the, par uh, the paralysis effect that this beam gives uh, to enemies. Now you get near this person. Makes these guys a lot easier, but the wet but the wave beam is also very weak. That's just one thing I want to let you guys know. It's a lot weaker than the power beam. But it can paralyze enemies, and that's one good thing. That's what I like about the wave beam. What the how am I Hello? There you go. Thanks. Alright, so there we go. Just use it on one more enemy. Just let me use it on one of the final enemy she got. Oh, look who's stand! Look who's stunned now. Yeah, they're pretty. Uh, makes these enemies a lot easier. But personally, though, I still like the power beam, and I mean, it's just a all-time favorite, really. I like the Mega Buster from Mega Man. So, all right, guys. I guess this concludes this update. Um, I'll see you uh, if you guys want to leave comments on the on the Metroid Prime thread that I have in those Super LP Brothers. Feel free to. Or comments in the videos, and so tell me what guys, tell me what you guys think, and I will see you guys later. So this is Terminator 421, going over and out and saving, because if I do save this and I didn't know that this recording didn't come out right, then I am screwed. So I'll be right. Uh, so I will see you guys later.